This is a corpse that farts. His constant farting caused the body to shake violently. What happened next was even more frightening. The wave swept him into the sea. This corpse actually farted to generate thrust. He was like a human speedboat sailing fast into the distance. Ank, who was stranded on a deserted island, saw it and had an idea. He put a rope around the corpse's neck and shouted, wait for me. Hank then mounted the corpse and excitedly escaped from the island. He looked at the fart boat under his crotch with surprise. He was like a sailor who had been through the storm and was eager to conquer the sea. He tugged on the body's tie. As it tightened the rope, the farting power goes straight to full. Hank rode the corpse across the sea. Unfortunately, the fart boat of friendship capsized because it was going too fast. Hank fell into the sea and was washed up on the shore. When he woke up, he thought he was back on land and celebrated with a loud scream. But he took out his cell phone, but he couldn't get a signal. Only 10% of the battery is left. It turns out this is just another island. He felt desperate again. Hank had to carry the man first to find a place to rest. He staggered along with the corpse on his back and smelled the stinky farts from many corpses. Finally Hank could not stand the stench anymore. He put the man down, and after some searching, he luckily found a bottle cork. The world was finally quiet. The next morning he woke up. Hank found the body spitting water from its mouth. Hungry and thirsty, Hank immediately held the body upright and pressed his chest hard. The corpse was instantly turned into a water fountain. Hank screamed out in excitement. He rushed to get a glass of water. He didn't have time to think about it and drank all the water. In one go, this water felt a little sweet. So he picked up a few more glasses of water. After he drank a lot of water, the corpse's mouth suddenly stopped squirting water. Hank said he hadn't drunk enough and frantically pressed the switch. And then something even weirder happened. The corpse actually made a sound. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Hank was so scared that he ran out of the cave. He came back a little later and cautiously approached the man. Hank thought he was hallucinating because he was so hungry. At that moment, the man spoke again. He said his name was Benny. Although Manny had come back to life, he was still as stiff as a corpse. Manny could not move except for talking. He also lost all his memories. But anyone on this deserted island is lucky to find someone who can talk. Hank soon discovered that Manny could do much more than that. This corpse was lying on the ground, farting constantly. Hank rode him straight across the ocean on a circumnavigation of the Pacific. This corpse has a lot of horsepower. What if they get tired of playing? You press the switch on the corpse chest to get a glass of natural pure water to quench your thirst. You can also talk to him when you're bored. Hank has given up on the idea of leaving the world since he met Manny. He spent his days in the woods picking up trash and making it into some weird and wonderful things. He did this to awaken Manny's memory so that Manny can bring him back to human society. He told Manny what a happy and loving family is. Soon, after receiving nine days of compulsory education, Manny learned to look at the beautiful women in magazines. Manny said his chest felt strange. Suddenly something came to life first. Hank was scared and ran away. Then a man and a corpse started to walk through the jungle to escape again. Suddenly they heard a bear roar. It scared the two of them and rolled down the cliff and fell into a deep pit. Hank's cell phone fell in front of Manny's eyes when he hit the ground. Manny saw the beautiful woman on the phone and instantly fell in love with her and took her as his wife. Hank took the phone and didn't tell him the truth. Hank went to pick up some garbage according to Manny's memory and dressed up as the woman on the phone. He tried to awaken Manny's memory with love, but Manny didn't remember anything. Instead, Hank recalled the image of his encounter with his girlfriend on the bus. So he used Manny's teeth to shave off his beard and used his head to drive a stake. Hank recreated the scene on the bus to the original scale and used a lot of pictures to make the view out the window. He put homemade headphones on Manny to give him an immersive experience. Manny started to recall things more and more. With the help of Hank, who was dressed as a woman, Manny finally remembered the name of the woman on his phone. Her name was Sarah. The two of them couldn't help but hold each other's hands. At this point Manny awakened a new skill. He could make sparks just by rubbing his fingers together. They had a great time building a campfire at night. They also picked up some corn to make popcorn. With popcorn comes a movie. So Hank set up another projection booth. The two of them had a great time watching the movie. Manny gets popcorn stuck in his throat. But that's when Hank discovered Manny's new skill. Whatever was put into Manny's mouth was quickly launched out. 
the two men used this skill to get out of the pit. With Manny's skill as a pea shooter, he could eat food anywhere, anytime. Whether the food is flying in the sky or swimming in the water, the two of them happily ate a big meal. Their life is getting richer and richer. Hank was getting deeper and deeper into the scene with the atmosphere. He almost forgot that he was playing a role. This is a multifunctional corpse. He could fart all the time. He has a mouth that sprays water and can hunt and make fire. His arms can cut through firewood. Hank uses his mouth as a shower head. He'll feed him and take him to the movies. Hank carries Manny across the river with a pipe on his back. Suddenly the pipe breaks and they fall into the river. Luckily, Hank was able to escape from the river by the power of Manny's fart and saved his life. This night Hank manipulated Manny to use a skill. Manny lit a bonfire in one second. Hank got up to go to the bathroom and turned on his phone to look. He found that the place was actually getting a signal. He looked at the beautiful woman's news. Turns out she's already married. Hank finds Manny and confesses to him that the phone is actually his. The beautiful woman on the screensaver was also Hank's crush. But it doesn't even have the courage to go near her. Then a brown bear walks by. Hank skillfully fills Manny's mouth with rocks. But Manny accidentally saw the photo in his phone. Peashooter's power suddenly disappeared. The sad Manny spat out all the rocks. Hank used all his strength to pick up Manny and pulled the cork out of the bottle. He made Manny fart into the campfire. The two of them flew up to the sky like a rocket, and then they fell hard to the ground. Just as Hank was about to become a snack for the brown bear, Manny twisted his body and exploded into full potential. He struggled to get up and fell down hard. Man slowly crawled towards the campfire. He set off the fire with a fart, thus scaring the bear away. Hank woke up again and found Manny has carried him to the window of his crush. Hank, who has low self-esteem, he scared him wants to escape, but Manny doesn't give him the chance. That's when the beautiful Sarah finds them, but Manny turns back into a normal corpse in an instant. Sarah called the police. The police arrived and prepared to take the unclean body away. Hank remembered the time he spent with Manny at sea and in the forest. He suddenly sensed something, so he forcibly took Manny away and carried him all the way back to the jungle. The police came after him and found what Hank had built. It turns out that the place where they lived was in the back of Sarah's house all along. It turns out it was all Hank's fantasy. He dragged Manny's body to the beach. But no matter how he called out to Manny, he didn't respond. Finally Hank had to accept the police arrest. At that moment, a fart sounded. Manny's body suddenly began to shake violently, just like what we saw at the beginning. Manny in the crowd's amazement in a series of farts rushed to the sea. This is the end of the movie Swiss Army Man. Is Manny a corpse or Hank's fantasy self? I think it's the second one, from Hank's point of view. He's just a survivor on a deserted island. The deserted island is his spirit world. But Hank is seen by others as a madman hiding behind someone else's backyard to escape reality. Because it's so hard to live happily. So some people prefer to hide in their own fantasies. You can subscribe to save review and leave comments if you have any ideas. Let's watch a movie together to experience a different life. See you next time.